So next we're going to do some functional testing and the first thing we'll test is whether Excel services is working properly and by properly I mean can we access data from external data sources and delegate credentials. So I'm going to open up just a simple Excel uh, workbook and pick a cell here and insert some data from analysis services. And I have a tabular instance on SPDB2 here, so I'll specify that one. And that's just internet sales, that's fine. And I'm going to call this AWS Sales. And drop in a pivot table. And we'll just, uh, it doesn't really matter what we choose here, we just want to pick something. Uh, I'll do that, and maybe we'll pick. Um, like a product category name and then I want to put in a slicer with the year over here. The, the trick to this testing is make sure that there's some kind of a way that I select different data and a new query is run and I want to have enough different values that I can um, play around a little bit during the testing. So, so to give us some different values to play with let's uh, insert a slicer maybe something on the time dimension so the same data source and let's find that date dimension table here and I've got fiscal year and let's go with calendar year and then how about uh, month yeah so we'll get a couple slicers that'll give us the opportunity to, to change and we'll need to connect this So I'll connect these slicers to that pivot table. And then we can see the values are changing as we change slicer values. So that looks fine. Okay, so that's good. So what I'm gonna do first, um, I'm gonna save a local copy of this just on my computer and my documents. And this is my uh, sample book number one. As I publish this to SharePoint, actually, I would like to take that data source and put it in the data source library so I can test to make sure that data source library configuration is working properly. So I go to connections, and I can see that's my connection. Go to the definition and export that connection file. And then here I'll put it on the SharePoint site. And into my data connections library and we'll call this AW test. Save it there. And then at the content type, we have to fill out so that's an Office data file. And I'm just going to label this ODC because that data connection library can get a little confusing, and this will help me keep it straight. Then that will be uploaded to the SharePoint site. And this workbook now is actually pointing at a connection file that's shared on a SharePoint site. So when I go ahead and publish this, to SharePoint. I have my documents and this is going to be my AW test. Excel document. And then proving it, that looks fine. Good. Then again, I'll have to choose a content type as a share to save to SharePoint. Document is correct. So if I look at my data connections library, I can see I have the AWS sales that I uploaded. And then if I look in my documents library, I have the original Excel services sample that SharePoint put there for me, and then this is my 
test Excel document that should show me data from my uh, tabular analysis services model. And what I'm looking at here is what this looked like when it was saved. It doesn't tell me that Excel services is able to do refreshes from external data sources. So what I need to do is just click on a slicer and if my numbers change that tells me it's actually able to do queries out to the backend data source. If I really want to end-to-end -end test this I can go to SPDB2 and what I can make sure of is that when these queries are running that the identity running the query is me. So within Profiler I can let that run and then go back over to my workbook and click a slicer which will generate a query and then if I look in here I can see the NT username is Rob so I know that the Kerberos delegation is happening because I have my my username is here and I'm, I'm doing the query from a Windows 8 workstation through the web server to the application server to the backend data server and it's not the service accounts ID that's here it's actually my ID so I so I'm very confident that my Kerberos delegation is working just fine. So we're done testing Excel, so we'll uh, kind of close this out and then next test reporting services and make sure that works.